Hello, another video uh, here in the forest. Uh, we'll do some food prep here um, <clears throat> and I'll do a review of a new knife I just got, so like uh, three days ago. Really nice EDC, the Brisa. Brisa, uh, let me show it. We'll show, show the sheet in a while, but Brisa uh, Bobtail 80. I like this. I really do like this a lot. Uh, actually, much more than I thought I'd like. So, uh, but I go in the details in a minute. So the thing is that I'm going to do food prep here and uh, have some sausages, and I collected also some uh, uh, mushrooms. And uh, but I will pre prepare the fire, and I will just actually show here this other knife that I have. This is the the Leuku. Uh, by Erapu. So this is something which I nowadays have been keeping this uh, in my in my backpack as a kind of a backup. Well, not a backup knife, but a survival sort of tool. So if I want to chop some wood, so this is, in my opinion, a fine, fine blade. I have also uh, a saw there, but very often this is just very almost quicker with this one and I really don't need to have much of the, just kind of a have some wood some pieces that I can uh, do some feathers here when I'm chopping uh, it's kind of is, for example, to compare to Scrama. Scrama is a bit better. But what I like about this is the, the lightness. The use. Just chop it, chop it. Have it. Then just some combination of like lightness <coughs> of this so it doesn't really wait for a blade that is so uh, long too much <coughs> Very, very nice blade. It's uh, 80 millimeters long, of course, the blade. Uh, it's also quite high, uh, the, the, <clears throat> the blade, which really exaggerates the, the sliciness. If I can demonstrate, I have the mushrooms here well I, I will uh, demonstrate a bit uh, when I when I start to do the uh, to do the food prep um, so <clears throat> this is a knife that I got uh, a couple of days ago and uh, have been using it now quite a bit and really really digging it uh, 
I'm liking it actually much more than I thought I'd like. So it's very, very light. Uh, beautiful uh, slicer. So it really like uh, exatur uh, exaggerates the sliciness, even the, the high blade shape. I like the blade shape a lot. Um, so I have been using this as a kind of mushroom knife, like EDC just yesterday, the whole day this was with me. Uh, <clears throat> like the also the, the handle a lot. Uh, I, I thought it's going to be shorter the handle, so I, I have a, like a four finger grip, and uh, it's not as comfortable as, as some other knives. Like when you get really nice like four finger grip, but for a knife this size, this is actually quite nice. I have few other this type of uh, EDC blades, uh, for example my Bark River. Uh, Little Creek, which I actually don't like uh, anymore. That uh, it, it's okay knife, but I'm actually uh, have just put that knife to 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 sale. So I will I will I will, I will sell that knife away. I just don't find use for that anymore. And it, it's I, for this type of blade, EDC uh, Nimbo knives. I very much prefer that there is this kind of a Oil here. This has a very nice control. This this blade, so really really nice. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it does the feathers. Uh, it's not optimal. It's not very forgiving. Let's say so. It's not that easy to do, but it, it's 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 doable. You can you can do those. It really is like a lightsaber, though. It's, so I'm, I'm preparing some fire fire starters. <clears throat> we'll put, put the fire here and uh, do some some food prep. Mm, yeah, uh, like the ergonomics, like the price, the steel. I know the Sandvik. Was it 12, uh, 12 C27N or something like this? Um, same steel as Mora uses, so reliable steel. I know that steel from since my childhood almost. As a comparison, I have the Tikka by Ahti. That makes better feathers, but that's kind of high scandy. So for a flat grind, it's okay. And for these kind of really, really delicate feathers, if if one finds the angle, it's okay. It's kind of very very delicate feathers. Those are the, the forte of, of this knife. It's so uh, thin behind the edge. It, it really can kind of uh, peel the surface. All the time kind of uh, listening if, if, if I hear the wolves. It, they have been been so much of wolf sightings. They trust a pack of wolf uh, uh, eight pack of wolf uh, just killed like 12 sheep not so far away from here and uh, this is one of the hotspots of, of wolves in Finland if not the hotspot at the moment and there have been a lot of a lot of talk about those, and uh, so many people have seen them. I've seen now uh, two times in, a, in the past year, and I heard the, the howling a lot. The closest that I got to a um, wolves was approximately like 100 meters. There was 
in my opinion, this, there was three wolves and uh, they didn't notice me. I was going to fish and uh, they were like um, under the wind, or how do you say? So the, the wind was coming from them, from, from their direction. So they didn't smell or hear me. And I was moving quite slowly, ah, quite quietly rather. So I'm kind of, it's interesting because those kind of uh, numbers of, of wolves and the uh, kind of a consensus and the data is always behind. So these, these forests are really vast. Uh, it really is one of the hotspots of, of wolves at the moment. So as you see, it, it processes wood. It's not the best. My best full flat knife I have for feathers is by far the TRC Classic Freedom. So that's just it's so enjoyable, a joy to use. And anyways, you can also baton with this. I, uh, it's it's robust enough to do that. Also has a. has enough power. So, let's move on. So, my idea was um, that I'm going to uh, put some sausage, paprika, and I have zucchini. And then I collected also a porcini, or penny bun, uh, penny bun in English, uh, boletus egoris. So I just just collected these. So I was just on my way here, and then it's almost impossible not to, to find these. So that this year is really really something else. So really nice quality. Also some small ones, some bigger ones, and uh, they're all good. So. And there's also bread that I uh, yesterday baked. So let's start with the paprika. So this is, I actually haven't even tasted this in a food prep, but I can already know that it's going to be nice because it has been already my, <laughs> like becoming my like go-to mushroom knife even. So like my go to EDC, I, I really could see. It's such a great slicer. It really is just so effortless. I love the profile. So this came actually a bit too small. Let's see, maybe chunks like that are actually much better. This is kind of bad. So here, maybe like generous chunks. This is okay. Just there. Then, um, yeah, the porcini, bendy pan. Let's check. No problem. Mm. Maybe actually just like that. You can eat these raw, like instantly. So doesn't need to be prepared any anyway. So I'll just actually do generous chunks of this beautiful slicer. Really nice. So, and then have some uh, bratwurst. These I will just slice like this. No big recipe or anything. This is just my 
improvised idea. Easy, easy lunch here in the in the woods. It's been a very very nice few days now, quite warm. Yeah, then the zucchini. I don't know, maybe just. Very nice, very slicey. This this really is like I'm I'm kind of taken back with this one, or how do you say it in English? It's a really really great, great blade. I have a beer also here. My wife and kids are uh, in some party today, and uh, I have kind of a free day today, so it's just. She knows that it makes me ha happier to to be here alone in the woods than a. Uh, with some people socializing. She's a kind of a social butterfly, I'm not. And uh, I appreciate that she knows what I like and I, I know what she likes. This is just my, my piece of heaven always. Okay, now uh, we'll put them on the stick. Tried this type of. Oh, it's not optimal. The point. Yeah, maybe it's just, it's too, never tried this type of recipe. It's still too well. Let's see with the sausage. Then with the porcini's. Hoping this is working. No, I kind of suspected. I, I have to do a bit larger chunks of the porcini. Luckily I have them so, so much, so no problem. Uh, let's see, I have here another one. Let's check if it's okay, totally okay. So how should I do it? Maybe actually here. I will just put this. So let's, let's see now. Okay, there it is. Then another zucchini, another paprika, Yeah, the Brisa had these sheets in, in different uh, forms. So one was Kydex, and uh, I don't like Kydex, so that wasn't an option. And then the other one was, uh, there was kind of a leather part here and then with a button here. But that felt like a bit too sturdy, to be honest, or kind of big and clumsy. So I just, I went with this one and liking it a lot. So beautiful EDC. Very nice in the hand, and what I like about this is uh, it also, by the way, definitely will uh, start uh, the fire steel. Will we'll scrape the fire steel. Very, very sharp the edges. Very nice design by the by Brisa. Once again, I like the company a lot. So very nice knife and uh, with the nice steel also, and this is like a slicing machine. So I just actually took the chanterelles here to demonstrate also the sliciness. Look, this is just so nice, the profile. It really is so. And you need, and I also opened one fish already with this one. So anyways, I'm continuing here. Uh, some Finnish beer. And, uh, so fantastic first impression from this knife. So, I don't know yet, like, how it's going to work, but at least now I'm loving it. Uh, probably it's going to be 
I'm all the time changing my favorite mushroom knife of, of the season. It's kind of funny, but this will be one of them for sure. Um, it also looks nice. Uh, yeah, what, what more to say? So very happy with it. And also the price point, very, very, very good. So thanks for watching. See you later.